And for a critical concern, for months, Five on Your Side investigations have revealed lagging emergency response times in Cleveland. In some cases, people have died, and now dozens of paramedics are joining Cleveland's EMS force, a move designed to reduce that weight. News 5's James Girardi live for us tonight at City Hall. Rob, right now the average response time for Cleveland EMS is just under 12 minutes. With these new hires, the hope is that the response time is going to fall to just under 8. Fire just got here, but we need EMS. It took Cleveland EMS nearly 17 minutes to arrive at the scene of this double shooting in August that left a Lyft driver dead. ETA on the ambulance. That all may be changing, though. Today, 39 new EMTs and paramedics joined the Cleveland EMS force. Answering a critical need, the new additions will allow the city to staff 25 ambulances during the day, up from 21, and allow for 21 ambulances at night, up from 19. We're keenly aware of a lack of response time because we get the calls from our constituents. City Councilman Mike Palencic is hopeful these new hires and a fleet of nine new ambulances will take response times from an average of 11 minutes and 58 seconds to less than eight. He also hopes this move signals the eventual combination of Cleveland Fire and EMS into one city department. The citizens deserve it. When you call for yourself or a member of your family. You don't care who's coming to your house. You want somebody there quickly to provide the best service and get you to the hospital as quick as possible. That's what you want. That's what our citizens expect. It's all paid for by an income tax hike. We can expect those new cadets and those 25 ambulances to be staffed a day early next year. Reporting live in Cleveland tonight for News 5, I'm James Girardi. The owner of a dog daycare apologizing and defending herself tonight after she...